So I've got my piece like this, and now I'm gonna take my rolling pin, and I wanna give it a good, at least an inch and a half, um, stable part that I'm not gonna cut. So I'm gonna cut my grass up, but stop with about an inch and a half left. Mm. And because this is kind of a cartoony um, grass skirt, I'm not going to make it super, super thin. Also, I don't want to deal with it. That would be a real pain to try to do it, um, to try to cut these super thin. So I'm going to do them about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch. It gives the same look. It gives the idea of a grass skirt. And that's all we're trying to get across. So, and I'm not measuring. You can see here, I'm not being exact with my measurement a half an inch. I'm just kind of rolling up to approximately a half an inch. So I'm gonna do all that all the way across. And isn't this fun to watch? It's good. Aren't you excited? Look at that. Could this be more tedious? This is just eyeballing. Well, I'll, you know what? And I'm totally eyeballing it. I'm not yeah. measuring it. I'm totally eyeballing it. Uh, but this would be a good time to talk about cake camp while I'm doing this. Oh, excellent. So, um, I don't know if you all know about cake camp. It takes place in Las Vegas every other year. So, this is the year. And if you missed it two years ago, this is your opportunity. It's the most amazing camp. It's three days, August 13th through the 16th. Um, it's held at the Green Valley Ranch, which is actually right outside of Vegas, close enough to where you can go in and gamble, but far enough away to where you don't have all the craziness of the Vegas Strip. Mm -hmm. And it is, I'm a, I would say at least 100 classes, 100 different classes, 30, 40 some teachers, everything from beginning classes to structure, detailed sculpture. And I mean, we're talking name teachers. These aren't, these aren't uh, somebody you've never heard of. They've got... Marina Sousa and James Roselle and Tammy Utley. Tammy Utley. Um, but you got to hurry because one of Tammy's classes is already sold out. There are a number of classes that are already sold out. It mm -hmm. is, and it's, you know, for the class, um, for what you get, it is really reasonably priced mm -hmm. and everything is hands on. So you're not, uh, there are a couple of demos. I shouldn't say everything, but um, it's hands on, stuff is supplied. You can go there. I go every year and I just Blow, blow it out and do like four classes a day for all three days. And um, it's more bang for your buck than you can possibly imagine. And you can tell on the website. That's right. So, if you want to go check it out, it's cakecamp.com. C-A as in California. C-A-cakecamp.com. Go check it out. And by the way, we'll have a booth there. So yeah. we're, Yummy Arts will be there. A lot of our instructors, a lot of... Uh, now, uh, because I don't want this to friends. stretch and I don't want it to take me be misshapen and it's kind of detailed, I'm gonna put this in the freezer as well and let this freeze for a little while so that when I go to put it on, it's pretty pretty stable. So let me put that in and we'll pull out our flowers. I normally would leave these in a little bit longer, but since we're live and we're moving fast. Oh, yeah. So they're not gonna just flop out, unfortunately. You have to kind of pull them out with this kind of mold, but because they're frozen, you can see they come out pretty easily. And normally you'd leave them in longer. Yeah, so they would be even easier to come out. Now see, uh, this one came out with the little ball stayed in, so I'm just gonna pop that out and take you, some water. You back? There you go, glue it on. And glue it back on again. There you go. And so there you see, it's still got a little cornstarch on it, but we're gonna dust that off. There you see you have your pretty little hibiscus flower. Pretty, and so pretty easy too. Yeah, I mean really easy, and for as detailed and as pretty as they are, um, they're very, people are impressed, you know, if people knew all the secrets we had for the stuff <laughs> we do, nobody was being as impressed as they are. Yeah. Well, make it easy. Why in the world wouldn't you? Yep. Now see this one broke, it. but that's okay because I can just glue it, put it right back in there, smush it. smush it back together. Nice. Again, the little yellow piece stuck. That's pretty forgiving. So it is pretty for, it's fondant, you know, and it's a flower, so it doesn't have to be, um, 100% perfect because nothing in nature is perfect. So I'm going to take my tool and kind of just mush that together a little bit. And you can see here the there's a, a little yellow got into the other petals. It's all right. We're going to paint these a little bit to give them, to bring out a little bit more color. I'm going to wet this where it broke apart because it's not wanting to stick too much. So let's wet that so it then sticks. All right. A little water and glue. A little Oof. water, you know, fondant that. sticks to fondant. If it's wet, that's the rule. 
So, oh, let's see, that one came out perfectly. Ta -da. Ta -da. Look at that. All right, so we have three flowers, and I'm gonna move these over to the side with the other ones that I pre-made. So fondant in candy molds, who knew? 